Hello, Hope Church, and welcome to um, today's episode, um, or today's devotion um, of Hope Daily, um, continuing in Mark, um, Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 29, looking at the parable of the growing seed. Um, I hope you're all doing well. hope you've all had a, a great week, um, ready for, um, I'm sure you're ready for the week to be over. Um, maybe some of you have had a fantastic week and you're not ready for the week to be over. Um, I hope this devotional can be helpful to you um, as we take a short time out of your day um, to reflect. Um, just want to say sorry this didn't go out um, this morning. Um, I hopefully plan to upload this um, in the evening time for both Facebook and YouTube. So hopefully you can watch it then. Um, but before I get started, um, let me just say a short prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much um, that you've given us um, this scripture that we're about to read. Um, Father, I pray that as we read this scripture um, and talk about it, um, we can really discern and, and hear you speaking to us. Um, and Father, help us um, to have open ears and to be uh, good listeners to what you want to say to us today. Amen. Great. So I'll read from the passage. Um, feel free to follow along in your own Bibles. Um, again, we're in Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 29. This is from the NIV. He also said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come. Now, right off the bat, good to explain that this is um, a parable from Jesus. Um, it's in a set of a bunch of different parables, um, a lot talking about like farming and seeds. Um, and if you don't know, a parable is simply just um, a, a story uh, that Jesus would have told to kind of explain um, his ministry um, without explicitly saying you know, what he's trying to say. So he, he gives the people parables for them to um, try and figure out um, what he's saying. Um, and we have the parables today, and we can discern them today. And so the parable of uh, the growing seed. So Jesus right off the, off the bat says, this is what the kingdom of God is like. So we know that this parable must be about the kingdom of God. Um, then it gets a little confusing after that. Um, you know, it talks about a man, you know, he scatters some seed, so, and, you know, it grows. So, but what does that have to do with the kingdom of God? What does that have to do with heaven and, you know, people turning to, to God and accepting Jesus into their lives? What does that all have to do with it? Well, um, one way um, that this passage is normally interpreta interpreted is that um, we are like the farmer. Um, we plant the seed um, into people's lives. We get to share the gospel with them. Um, maybe we talk to them, we share the gospel with them, or maybe we just simply pray for them. Pray that God will speak into their lives, that they will experience Christ um, and will turn to him as their savior. Um, but us as people, um, besides that, there's not much, too much that we can do. Um, it's all dependent on God. And so, like this farmer, who just kind of goes on with his day, you know, he sleeps and gets up, um, the seed continues to grow, but he's not the one growing it. Um, you know, it's nature. Um, it's God that is growing the seed. Um, 
and it grows in certain steps, you know, it doesn't just magically become grown. It says first a stalk, so just a little kind of like seedling, and then the head, and then the full kernel in the head. And then you have, um, you know, fruit or, um, you know, corn that is ripe for harvest. And it seems like it's just kind of magical um, that, that this has happened. And so this is how the kingdom of God works. We plant the seed into others. We pray for them for a seed to go into them. And then God just powerfully moves in their lives because God is the one that changes their lives. And so there's a couple things um, that I want you to take away from this today that hopefully um, make you feel more, more confident um, in the work that God does um, and how you can affect people's lives. Um, sorry, my friends are texting me. I'm trying to ignore them. Um, don't have despair um, when you try to show someone the gospel and they don't get it right away. Um, it's very possible that God is working in them. Um, and he is softening their heart to the gospel. And there's not too much that you can do. And it's kind of up to God um, to do those things. So it's not by our power that those things are happening. It's by God's power. And therefore, because it's not by our power, it doesn't really matter how, you know, unequipped we are when we're out doing mission and praying for our friends and our family. Um, it doesn't matter that you know, we've done certain things or we can't do certain things. We don't have those kinds of, you know, ministry skill sets that you might want um, because God ultimately is the one that is changing their hearts um, to make them ripe uh, for his harvest. And this passage also encourages you to be patient. Um, again, the seed um, goes through very certain steps before it finally reaches, you know, full growth. And someone, well, most of the time, someone doesn't just hear the gospel and immediately um, come away of it, you know, as a Christian. Um, it may take time, and your prayers for people, you know, may take time. And so this passage encourages that God is working in those people's lives, that God does work in lives. Um, and even though you can't see it, you know, how does that way make your song go, you know? Even though I don't see it, you're still working. And that's absolutely the truth. God is still working um, in those lives. So don't despair. God is always at work. Um, let me say a prayer for us today. Um, dear Heavenly Father, thank you again so much for this passage. Um, thank you so much that you are a God uh, that always works, you know, works 24-7, even though we may sleep and, you know, rise, you're, you're still working and you're still growing um, seeds inside of people's lives. Uh, Father, thank you for um, all the great work that you do. Um, and Father, uh, pray that people are continuing to be encouraged uh, to step out in faith and continue to pray for their friends and family um, to come to you. Amen. Hope you guys have a great weekend and hope to see you um, in one of our services Sunday. Bye-bye.